Hi. I would like to talk to you about something that's on my mind. Just thinking about uh, a family get together that I'm invited to, a uh, memorial for my uh, father, uh, Roger George, uh, this coming Saturday. Uh, Um, I mean, but, I mean, <coughs> uh, I mean, my fa family has been, uh, with me through my, uh, struggles with, uh, Mental illness. I mean, I mean, I'm pretty grateful to have to have a family that look at look after me. And, um, just um. I, I mean, I pr I pray for my family uh, daily. They come to they come to know Jesus Christ. And just, uh, I mean, of course, of course, there is one uh, incident that I uh, didn't like. It was. Uh, 2016, uh, they were talking about my mother and our mother, and I, f I felt they they were uh, holding back information from me about my mother, and, uh, and I, f I mean. Indeed, they thought they were doing the right thing. I mean, by not informing me. I mean, I mean, I didn't like being. I mean, didn't feel like the feeling of being infantilized. Like, um, like they were a whole. Like they're, I mean, they're really treating me like I'm a child or something. So I just told, I told them to tell me everything that's going on with my mother, and, and they told me everything. And, I mean, it was. Pr Probably the only incident uh, had in my like really ups felt felt like I was really upset with my uh, family. They thought they were doing they thought they were doing the right thing. I mean, they're, they're mine. You know, like. Of course. Just, um, I, I know, I just don't, don't like the, being treated, treated like I was, like I am a child, I mean, was, yes, the new, news like that would upset me, I mean, just, um, uh, I felt like I needed to know. I mean, I mean, I'm part of the family too. I should know know about those things. Just uh, I may not be a caregiver, but that is 
deserve to know what was going on with my mother. Just, um... Uh, I mean... Yeah, I... I do understand why, why they're trying... why they're trying to do that. I mean... I'm... I... I forget... I mean, like, I mean, I don't want to say that I'm angry at them forever for that, I mean, I just, um, and just, and it just, um, it's just that feeling that, um, you don't want to be tr treated like a, uh, child when you're a gr grown adult, and even if you, I mean, even if you have mental illness, that, that shouldn't exclude you from being part of the conversation about, about loved ones who are, um, having trouble, I mean, I mean, you should, uh, learn, you should, uh, speak up f uh, for yourselves and, uh, ask to be included in the conversation, I mean, even if, even if it's not necessarily something you want to hear, but it's just, still pray for my mother. Um, I mean, the only parent I have left is uh, I mean, <sighs> just uh Um, having my f family around, it's just, uh, we're all gone their separate ways, um, my sis sister Melinda's in Florida, my, uh, sister Vicky's in Monson, uh, my brother Christopher's in Chicopee. Mothers in assisted care at the arbors. I feel sorry that I wasn't really open to my half brother Charlie because he was like. Really late addition to family. I mean, I mean, one of one of the he's cared for, and then he's loved. I mean, by the rest of his family. I mean, even even he does have his own family to take care of. I mean, Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to share with you in this video, so have a good day, and God bless you.